דוף. My name is Lilian da Silva. I am an architect by background, so I studied architecture back in Brazil. I practice architecture in Brazil, then I decided to come to the UK to do, study my master's degree in sustainable building technology. And from that point in time, I started working more with the engineering side and uh, towards consultancy for buildings. And now I've just joined uh, the University of Wolverhampton as a senior lecturer in architectural technology. Um, mm, perhaps it's, uh, I'm a crazy mum for a kid mum, <laughs> so I have my four kids here, Gigi come here, let me show you, <laughs> that is my four kid, and I always bring her to work, so one, one of the very positive aspects of Roehampton is we, we are pet friendly, so Gigi is more than welcome to come and sit with us in the office and in classroom. <laughs> When I became SIBS member, SIBS is the Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers, and I I went through a review of everything I've done, all the projects I've I've worked on, and I work in a wide range of developments, uh, including diverse types of of buildings as well, such as healthcare, education, residential. So that brought me a really real fulfillment of, of my career and I think that is the most uh, proud achievement that I had so far. I wouldn't have one to name but a collection of uh, the latest projects I've been working on and uh, the um, let's say the GLA Greater London Authority requirements for sustainability has been increasing and um, we have to, to work with uh, a very high energy efficient building whilst providing thermal comfort for building users and the lighting and looking at the embodied carbon of the materials from the construction, uh, you know, what you specify for the construction and what is going to be the replacement of these materials through the building life cycle until the end of this building, ideally not uh, ideally uh, dismantling the building instead of demolishing and giving a new life to, to the building. I believe one thing that uh, everyone should be mindful of, it's everything we choose is we need to think about sustainability. We need to think about the UN uh, Sustainable Development Goals because they are directly linked to our everyday basis, you know, small, small changes for a big impact. Sustainability is going to be embedded in everything we do. So it's not going to be treated as a separate sub subject at all. There will be topics uh, around uh, certification, around a, a building modeling, about it being per building performance. Um, and the way to teach is actually uh, showing the students in practice how they, they do on a daily basis, in an industry scenario basis. And because I come from industry, I have the background in architecture and engineering, I can definitely bring this to, to students for them to enable them to, to work as, a, as, you know, as, as practicing in, in, in industry. Our key focus is the interdisciplinary approach between dis disciplines. So coming from industry, having an architecture and engineering background and, in, you know, and practice uh, consultancy for the last 12, 13 years, does enable and, and, and help me to help students on, on their career path by showing them in the studio, in our, in our department, how they're going to work collaboratively with their colleagues to help them to go to the industry, to work with the contractor, with the consultant engineer, whenever they choose to work for. 
We are reusing a building, so it's such a net circular economy aspect of, of this within our department already. The intent is to use healthy materials in the building, so that is, is also related to you know, the building uh, upgrade, the building performance of, of the fabric and glazing and uh, the collaboration between spaces. Uh, so instead of uh, small rooms, you know, where people get allocated, no, it will be completely op open space, uh, enhancing collaboration. And the building is going for a BRIAM certification. That is, uh, you know, is, is, is a very strong standard that we have here in the UK for sustainability in buildings. Right, my favorite, uh, my favorite architect is, is Alvaro Cesar. He's a Portuguese architect and uh, he designs really well integrated spaces with daylight in and this is it's really, it's really unique. The university campus is a kind of an oasis in London, you know, sometimes when I'm walking through the campus I don't feel that I'm, a, I'm in London, uh, but that is the the, the very nice feeling of you know being a university. I believe that the um, interdisciplinary approach that we are bringing on our brand new development is going to be very interesting and attractive. Gigi and I are really looking forward to see you in the campus. Thank you. She's such a star and she doesn't even know it. She's so humble about it, you know. <laughs>